Away from the stove. What do we have? Wait and see. Well, that's what we always have. Then why do you keep asking? Because you said a quitter never wins. I think I heard your dad drive in with a car, and I'll go and dredge up Mike and Robbie. Hands off. What are we having? Bob's afraid to tell us. You know, I, I can't figure out what happened to your dad. Want me to go see? I want you to sit down there and keep those hands clean. Robbie here, you chip? Running. Well, that was friendly. Hey, Robbie! All right, I'm coming. That wasn't Steve's car I heard. I must have been hearing things. Hi. Hi, Bob. Hi, Chip. Mike. Yeah. Hey, Steve. What took you so long? What took me so long? Have you ever heard of a man being trapped in his own garage? In our garage? I never go in there without emergency rations. Uh, what are you fellas trying to do? Air condition the kitchen? Well, oh, I've never seen it like it was tonight. What have you fellas been doing in there, anyway? We were playing Army. Well, play Army some other place, will you? Must have taken me a half hour to clean it up so I could get my car in. Come 
Mike, did you park your car over my side partner or something? I don't think so. Here, let me help you. Hey. Well, Robbie's motor takes up quite a bit of room. Well, until he builds a car around it. <laughs> Hands off, Dad. Hmm? Keep your nose out of there. Okay. Hi, Dad. Well, hi, Rob. And you stay out of there, too. We thought you were waiting for an engraved invitation. You make the basketball team? I don't have time for basketball. It's not what you said this morning. Well, we've got to do something about that garage. You know, it'd help if Chip and Robbie get some of their junk out of the way. Say, it looks like I may land a part-time job. But oh. I don't have much stuff in the garage. No, it's those cars that take up all the room. All right, now you guys were so anxious to know what we're having. It's... Stew. <laughs> Mulligan stew. What kind of a job is it, Mike? A salesman at the Ellis Sporting Goods store. Sure. Who's the salesman over there? Well, I got a chance to be. Hey, no kidding. Can you get me a special deal on baseball cards? Well, I can try. If you don't have time for basketball, why'd you try out today? For laughs. Anyway, I figured one big basketball star in the family's enough. What's that supposed to mean? It means Robbie didn't make the team. I uh, drew up some plans for storage shelves in the garage. I wonder whatever happened to them. They probably got stored away for safekeeping. Yeah, in the garage. Coach Carlson expects a guy to be an Olympic champ just to get on his old team. Oh, I don't know. I never thought the coach was so tough. He thinks you're just the greatest. Oh, it looks like a good salad, bub. Okay. I remember paying the bill for the lumber to make the shelves. They delivered the lumber weeks ago. That's another reason you can't get into the garage. When do you start work for Mr. Ellis? Well, I haven't exactly got the job yet. Barnaby Hawes and I are both up for it. You know, Mike, I also remember that you and Robbie were supposed to put up those shelves. What happened? What shelves? The storage shelves in the garage. Who did make the basketball team? Whenever I had any time to work, Robbie wasn't around. What are you blaming on me now? How is Ellis going to decide between you and Barnaby? He's going to try us both out of the job, see which one works out best. Mike, you and Robbie do the job on Saturday, hmm? At Ellis's? In the garage. I want those shelves put up Saturday. Oh, gee, Dad, it's this Saturday that Barnaby and I are supposed to work at the store. Well, couldn't we hold off on the shelves till next week? Mike, we've held off too long already. Well, I'd hate to miss out on this, Dad. I mean, you're always telling us okay, if we want okay. extra money. You can split the job. You come home after school tomorrow and put up half the shelves, and Robbie, you put up half on Saturday. Well, that's fine with me. Okay, Robbie? Okay. I'll hunt up the plans after dinner. Fine. I'm just tired of having to climb over something every time I drive into that garage and get out of the car. You know, Robbie, maybe you didn't make the basketball team because you try too hard. Did you ever think of that? Yeah, I remember the first time I tried out for basketball, I had the idea that... Who needs basketball? I mean, nobody could be as good as the coach thinks you are, so why break my neck trying? Hi, where you been? Old lady Manders kept me in after school. Oh, I always thought she looked pretty sharp for a teacher. Yeah, well, you are probably so great she didn't have it in for you. Look, I want to show you what I've done here. I can see. Well, anyway, you shouldn't have any trouble finishing it tomorrow. Boy, some swell Saturday. Just stick to Dad's plans and you can't miss. Oh, and be sure and get these wall supports in solid, because if you don't... I'll finish this shelf. My half won't be perfect like yours, but I'll get it up. Hey, what's your beef all of a sudden? What beef? I mean about you not doing things as well as me. <laughs> not so fast. You're sore at me and I want to know why. I'm not sore at you. Let go. Not till I get an answer. Now look, I'm sick and tired of being needled and not knowing why. Yeah, well, I'm tired of using your old beat-up books and I'm tired of wearing the clothes you don't want anymore. I'm sick of hearing how great you are coming off second best because you're such a champ. I'm fed up with being in hot water all the time because you were lucky enough to get yourself born first. Well, well, look at there, sleeping beauty. Let's go practice. Help yourself. Hey, I thought uh, Robbie was going to get an early start this morning on his half of the shelf. Well, I'd have booted him out when I got up, but lately he squares off at me if I even ask him the time of day. Now, don't worry about it, Mike. He'll get over it. 
And uh, good luck. I mean, uh, I hope you get the job. Oh, I'm not too worried. I mean, uh, Barnaby's a brainy guy and all, but uh, let's face it, he has no sales dynamics. Oh. Bud, how about giving me a hand with those shows? Dad said you'd probably ask. I'm sorry, I got work enough of my own. Come on. Cramp, be out get there up. till dark. Why didn't you get up early like Mike? Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, huh? Hello? Oh, hi, Trish. No, I've been up for a couple hours. Oh, oh. No kidding, down at Riverview? Wow. Yeah, sounds great. Hey, will you cut it out? No, not you, Trish. Hey. Hold it a second. Wait. Hey, wait a minute, please. Hold on a second. Oh, Trish? Sorry, it's my little kid brother. Yeah, I guess they all are. Um, listen, Trish, that barbecue sounds swell, but I'm not sure if I can make it today. Yeah, well... Excuse my fellow Dester, but some of us have got work to do around here today. Oh, Trish? Yeah, uh, well, are you gonna be at the park all day? Uh, well, why don't I... Oh, why don't I... Why don't I... Excuse me. Why don't I come over as soon as I can? Yeah, thanks. Call again. Trish? 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 see what this has to do with being a salesman. We'd better check the freight receipt and make sure that's all of the shipment. I'll take care of you, Bobby. Good morning, sir. Oh, oh I, I just came in to see Charlie. Well, I'm working for Mr. Ellis. What can I do for you? Well, I got all set to go fishing. I looked in my tackle box and, well, I couldn't find... You know, I knew you were a fisherman the moment I saw you. You're really in luck, sir. We just got in a new shipment of reels. Well, all I need right now I'm is... I loaded them myself. Oh, you've got to see these. Uh, here we are. Look at that little beauty. It'll give you the kind of control that you've always wanted. Well, it looks nice, but I'm not interested today. Light as air, but... Uh, Guaranteed to keep your feet warm and dry. Now, if you'd care to come over here and sit down, I can have you fitted in a jiffy. Don't need boots. Never wear them. Do yourself a favor and try this I'm trot out. I'm strictly a live bait man. I used to feel the same way myself. But fly fishing isn't the same with a rod like this. Well, look at the control you have. Look at how easy I do this. It's light, 
It's strong, I'd durable, careful last for the so long as it lasts for a lifetime. Look, so, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, it's okay, Mr. Ellison. Just a little accident, no problem. <laughs> Thanks. Just a little accident. Nothing. I'll have these up in a jiffy. I'm sorry, sir, but it's just such a great run. I wouldn't be surprised. But what I came in for was two bits worth of hooks. Hooks? You know, fish hooks. What size hooks, sir? Number two. Oh, oh this is neat. Hey, come on, get off of there, will ya? You? You're getting your fingerprints all over there. Boy, your part looks neat, Robbie. And you left lots of room on here for the station wagon. Yeah, that's what I figured. Come on, let's get out of here. You want some milk? Oh, yeah, you're correct. I say that I am. How do you like the way we... Boy, something must have gone wrong. That is a reasonable assumption. <laughs> well, hope we've got a car left under there. Everything was okay when I left. I can't understand how it happened if you... You know, Robbie, I could have sworn we had just enough of this lumber for the knee braces. How come you had this left over? You did follow the plans, didn't you? Or maybe there was an earthquake on that side of the garage, huh? You should let Mike do the whole thing. Now, wait a minute, Robbie. I give up. Why try? I mean, everything I do, Mike can always do a lot better. Well, just because Mike... I mean, Mike's didn't... better at everything. You all think so. And even if you don't say it, I know what you feel. Mike never goofs. I'm always the one who ends up looking like a dope. Come on, get up. Rob, uh, let me get this straight now. Are you trying to tell me that this isn't your fault, but Mike's? Not exactly his fault. But not yours either. The shelf didn't fall because you might have been in a hurry and did a bad job on it, huh? 
It fell because you're Mike's brother and we expect too much of you, is that it? Seems like all I hear is Mike, Mike, Mike. Is that maybe the reason uh, you didn't make the basketball team? And why you're having trouble in history? You don't understand what I mean. Yes, yes, I think I do, Rob. Yeah, anytime you fall on your face, you, uh, you've got to build an excuse. It's never your fault. Sounds like a pretty handy arrangement. I wish I could dig up something like that. Come on, let's get this stuff off here, huh? Grab that in. All right, what's in there? Lucky we saved that old mattress or we'd have a few dents to take out. Baby buggy off of here. Come on, Rob, come on. Well, Robbie? Remember when you used these? Yeah, when I had my broken ankle. Gee, they sure have gotten a lot shorter. I suppose it might be that you've gotten longer. Anyway, they wouldn't be much good to you now, would they? No, but I sure got around to them then. Remember how I'd go rocketing off to school? And all the tricks I used to play with them? Old Doc Woods, remember him? Robbie Douglas, you'll never stand on your own feet again unless you throw these things. Oh, wait. Yeah, I remember. Looks like somebody scored a direct hit. Would you forget to use nails? Go ahead, rub it in. I did it all wrong. I'm stupid, see? I, of course, a guy as perfect as you wouldn't know what that meant. No, I, you'd do everything perfect. I mean, everything I do is... <laughs> Mike, are you feeling all right? <laughs> I feel fine. Except I didn't get the job. He hired Barnaby. Oh? Did uh, Mr. Ellis tell you why? Well... First, I wanted to think that maybe Barnaby's dad put the pressure on, but... <laughs> What's the use of kidding myself? While I was developing my sales dynamics, Barnaby went down to the store after school last week and learned the stock. <laughs> hmm. Pretty sneaky, huh? That's smart. Today, I showed up looking like something left over from last year's prom. Barnaby was in work clothes. And he worked hard. So he got the job. I'm perfect, all right. I'm a, a perfect failure. Well, quit slugging yourself, Mike. Anybody can make a mistake, but not everybody will admit it. Mike? I'm sorry about the job. Nothing's broken. I don't think it'll take us long to fix it. Thanks, Dad. Oh. Yeah. Well, I guess you fellas can get along without me, huh? 